Harry Harry this is Lord Potato and this is what if Naruto had crystal release now um what's called I did a part one that was only 18 minutes long last time I think it was on the 30 so yeah the 31 yeah okay you get the one it was on the 30 31 somewhere around there and of course this is well the part two of it so yeah let me do a recap on what happened so Naruto he was with Sasuke and he was fighting in Taku. Since in this one, Naruto was the one to actually get hit by the Senbon and Sasuke actually unlocked his three to my Sharingan. Since Naruto and Sasuke were somewhat good friends in this one, somewhat, I say somewhat. Not much. So similar to Rajon Khan, but not really. So when he got hit by the Senbon, Sasuke was right now fighting against Haku, trying to deflect any more of his, uh, what's called needles. Well, what's called Senbons are trying to hit, uh, Naruto. Since Sasuke noticed that Naruto isn't... Well, I mean, he thought he would die, so yeah. So that's why he had the three to my... He didn't unlock it to the Monokyun. No, that's, uh... That's something else I might do. Now, Naruto was brought back out of his little trance... Where, uh, when he was kind of knocked out. He talked to Kurama, and Kurama did give him chakra. So, of course, Naruto was about to go into the sort of nine tail mode and all that. The one where his eyes kind of just go into the, uh, what's called, uh, slick mode. But, of course, when he was about to do that, his eyes, instead of going to slick, they go into a weird, crystallized, uh, Sharingan. So, what I mean, it means, uh, this crystallized Sharingan. It's a black Tomoy, the Tomoyas and the outside of the ring of this, uh, eye is actually made of black diamond. While in the middle, it's just a colorless diamond. So yeah, that is the basic tomo uh well basic kind of uh dojutsu for the uh, chrysalis uh chrysalis. So there's not really a clan for it, so uh, I'm just gonna call it the chrysalis. The clan is the clan so I'm gonna call it chrysalis since that's basically crystal release. So Naruto, he is well kinda just after he got out of that uh whole thing and of course he started using the amethyst an amethyst he found with Hawking. Hawking is the younger sister well yeah the younger sister of well uh Haku. Now of course Hawking was about to attack uh what's called Sasuke but of course when Naruto uses the amethyst to create into weapons to defeat Haku and knock him out, he stopped Hawking from actually attacking Sasuke and of course made them into daggers and slicing off the mask off of Hawking. Because Hawking this one did have a mask. And of course she was about to stab herself and like the heart is where Naruto put his hand over her heart so it wouldn't like go through. Instead, Naruto gets that. So yeah. But of course with that happening, Zabuza in this one was about to get Chidori. But instead, Hawking was the one to jump in front of it. And then Naruto jumped in front of it to use an, the Amethyst as well. An Amethyst shield. And of course, blocked the Chidori. But of course, uh, Kakashi's arm kind of fucked up at that time. Zabuza was too tired to fight against Zagato's army, and Naruto felt this weird energy into the sea. This is where Naruto, like, rises so much of the salt. Now, salt is actually considered a somewhat of a crystal. So, Naruto made three salt dragons, which I don't even think I mentioned that last time. But yes, three salt dragons and a bunch of salt needles, Sembons, to launch at Gato's army and destroy them all. After that, he passes out. So our team seven, Sasuke, Kakashi, and Sasuke went back to uh, the Leaf Village while Naruto decides to, uh, he was kind of knocked out for somewhat of a uh, two weeks since he used a lot of power. And of course, Sasuke could not ask him about what that was, but he'll ask him later. Now, this is where um, Sasuke actually unlocked his three tomorrow. So Kakashi wanted to train Sasuke in well, the Chidori since he has, well, Sasuke has a mature charm. So he left uh, Naruto with uh, what's called Tazuna and all that. So he already knows that Naruto will come back to the village, yeah. Until Naruto changed the plans, instead of going back to the Leaf Village, he went with Hakin, Haku, and Zabuza back to the Mist Village. Since Zabuza decided to get all the money from the vault of, well, Gato. And they had enough money to go to the uh, what's called Mist Village to, well, help the revolutionary. Now... That's where I kind of slept off. 
Naruto and Haku are right now just kind of talking to each other and walking along. Haku and Zabusa are just kind of, well not annoyed that much, they're just interested with the boy since basically Haku got knocked out by the boy and uh, basically Zabusa got protected by the boy. And of course Naruto is just talking to Haku and Haku is saying, well my sort of take a Kenkai is Hydraton, basically Ice Release. And Naruto says, interesting, I don't know what my Keke Kenkai is. You said I could create, well, create the amateurs into different weapons, but that was only an instant. The, I'm sort of a, um, how should I say, uh, uh, how should I say, um, someone did tell me in my mindscape that uh, the thing I have is called Crystal Release. And Hawking was like, whoa, that's so cool. Wait, crystal release. Is that how you can actually use the salt? Salt is somewhat of a crystal, uh, Haku said. Hawking was like, whoa. And of course, I was uh, heard, overheard and heard crystal release. Hmm. A very rare type of Keke Kenkai I never heard. Now, crystal release is basically mixed with water and... What, was it water and earth? I think it No. Water and earth, or was it wind? Because there's not really a confirmed thing. I think it was mixed with water, earth, and wind. Or was it water, earth? I don't know, because water, earth makes wood style. And wind, water makes ice style. Uh, I think it was three elements that combines to make crystal release. Water, earth, and uh, wind. Don't quote me on that. I actually don't actually know, because... <sighs> I really can't think about it like that. Wait, water, water and wind mix. I, okay. Earth and wind mix. Uh, I don't remember, but it's definitely not crystal release. Uh, so yeah. Okay, let me let me go on with the what if. Sorry, I kind of got a whole freaking mind uh freaking fart and actually like lost a little thing. But not the point. This is where um. Talking and Naruto are just keep talking, and Naruto is kind of trying to create the same kind of effects with his amateurs that he found. Now, the amateurs is a pretty good chunk of it to make what's called a sword and all that. Or a shield to like block against Kakashi Jodori. So he's playing with the amateurs, trying to learn how to control his like crystal release and all that. And of course, Haki is like, whoa. Hmm. Just watching Naruto intently. And of course, Naruto managed to create something from the uh, Amethyst, a rose, just an Amethyst rose. And of course, Hawking just kind of uh, blushes a little bit, but she doesn't know about love and Naruto neither. They're kind of dense as hell. But yeah, um, Hawking was like, whoa, that looks so cool. And Naruto said, yeah, my tenant did just told me that I had to put chakra in it. And of course, Haku and Zabusa said, tenant, what are you talking about? And Haki kind of didn't catch it. And of course, this is where Sabuza asks, What do you mean, intended? Or Naruto says, Well, Zerokorama says, Ah, oh, goddammit, kid, you're not supposed to say jack shit, you dumbass. Then again, no one can explain this because you don't know anything about Chris Release. Okay. Just say, Your, mm, your tail beast told you to do this. Zero, uh, Naruto says, My tail beast told me to do it. And of course, this is where Sabuza. And Haku realized, oh shit. Okay. Wait, you're a tail beast. A, a tail beast. Wait, hold the fuck up. Which number? And of course, how can say, tail beast? Hmm. Ah, isn't those like the, what's called tail beast, like Yagata or whatever that asshole has or whatever? And of course, Zabuza kind of said yes. And of course, it's where Naruto said, um, Nine. <laughs> Is there Zobus on Haku? They're like, wait, hold up. You have nine? You have the nine? Are you serious? Did we just decide to take ancient Shuriki with us back to the mess village? And Naruto says, I mean, it's not taking if I'm willing to go. Not the point, kid. You realize if the leaf village, you're if that if you're that important for the leaf village, we're fucked. Naruto says, no, no, no. The old man is chill. The old man is chill. Yeah, yeah. And of course, Haku and Zabuza are kind of sketchy out, but whatever. Now they don't know about the old man. Who's the old man or whatever? 
So, now, what to call it? Naruto is just kind of like, yeah, yeah, don't worry, guys. So, when they get to the, uh, what's called, Miss Village, they go towards the uh, base of where the revolution was at. And when they get there, they see what to call somewhat of, like, 50 uh, Miss Ninjas about to attack the uh, base. Now, of course, Mei, Ao, and, of course, uh, Chojiro are right now fighting against the 50 Miss Ninjas they're managing to. Because the messengers contain of like about a couple of tuning, a couple of like more gannings, and one uh, joning. The joning is right now fighting against May. So of course this is where Zabza Hakun Hakun decides to all attack. So Zabza jumps down, pulls out her executioner blade, and fights against the joning who's attacking May. Now what what about the other revolutions you're talking about? Well, they are right now kind of hurt because they were in war about a couple of minutes ago. The 50 ninjas that came is just ninjas to see if they can actually fully kill the uh, revolution army. Now, of course, there were uh, Haku and Hawking uses ice style to attack multiple of the, uh, what's called, Genings and Chunings. Of course, this is where one, like, decides one Genning, not Genning. When Chunin charges at Hawking and Haku could not protect her. And of course, this is where Naruto does not let Hawking get hurt or anything. So he stands right in front, in front of uh, Hawking. Because the sword was about to hit what's called Naruto. And of course, Naruto says, I won't let you hurt her. This is where Naruto activates his Dojutsu. But also another special ability. Shining Diamond! Pfft, knocks the man out. Now... I am going to be putting stands in here. Now you're wondering why. <laughs> why you got to do this. Uh, because I really just decided to uh, put a stand in here. And in the, uh, what's called? What's called? Not, he didn't say shining diamond. But it really just came up to his head. And it said shining diamond punch. But instead of like like punching the, uh, jo not Joni. Tuning, he uses a stand called shining diamond. Or shining crystals. Because, yeah, some kind of. Give him an ability where he can actually uh, use his, like, what's it called? What's it called? Aura strength to kind of bring out a stand. An entity to help him out. Um, The reason why I was thinking about this is when I was actually doing Dojutsu and all that. And, yeah. I kind of thought of a stand from Jojo and the... When I was actually thinking it's Shining Diamond, but I'm not going to give Shining Diamond to Naruto. But the Shining Crystal is going to have similar similar things to Shining Diamond, but not really. Shining Crystal, its abilities, I will mention. First, of course it's going to punch like a fucking truck because it's made out of well, crystals. And of course crystals are really hard and you can't break anything. And of course the guy gets knocked out. No, Shining Crystal is invisible to anyone's eyes. Because no one needs to be a stand user to see this. Because it's not really a stand use damage. It's not really a stand. At the same time, it's just some kind of entity that Naruto managed to manifest out of his crystal release styles. Well, I mean, crystal release, you mean, the, I mean, the crystalis. Basically, the uh, clan and all that. But yeah, everyone can see it. And of course, Zabasa, Haku, and Hawking are amazed. At the same time, Shock, Hawking is the most amazed one. She's like, whoa, Narch, that was so cool. Of course, the guy with the sword, his sword kind of broke when the stand user punches him in the face and also punches the sword. Now, Naruto is like ready to fight. And of course, the crystal stand is still kind of floating next to him. This is where Naruto... He says, whoa, what is this exactly, Karama? Karama says, I have no fucking clue. Well, can I get a little bit of chakra? <sighs> Fine, go ahead. Naruto, he activates somewhat a KCM, not KCM cloak, a one of the uh, Karama tails. Now, he only has a one tail uh, cloak sort of figure from the uh, Karama's cloak. And all that. No, he does not have KCM, it's just the one tail. And of course, he rushes at what's called the Ambus. Well, not Ambus, but... What am I talking about? The 50 ninjas and all that, which one Joni is right now fighting against what's called Zabza and what's called Mei. And of course, Ao and um, Chojo are right now fighting some of the ninjas and all that. So there's about 25 left. Mostly they are containing uh, for 5 tunings and 20 gannings. 
Because what Yagare say is, says, ah, you know, these ninjas can be capable of enough to kill them, right? Yeah, no. Well, Naruto just tricky. Right now, killing them all easily. Now, Naruto does not like to kill or anything. So, of course, this weren't uh, Kurama's actually helping him kill. By kind of Kurama's making a claw. He's somewhat control well, controlling Naruto. A little bit. To kill. Because Naruto is going to have to learn to kill more and more. Which, without kind of being unconscious or having to be controlled by Kurama to kill. So, of course, Naruto is mass murdering the ninjas. Now, of course, the true ninjas decide to attack Naruto. This is where Naruto's back was behind, and this is where Hawking says, Watch out, Naruto! The entity decides to appear again, because it disappeared and appear again, and grabs all the kuna, just start, uh, just like collecting them midair, and just decides to, well, turn all the kuna into crystals and just throw them back at the five chun. All five chun get, like, hit in the heart pretty easily. Now Naruto's like saying, what do you want, Hakim? Hakim's like, huh, you scare me, Naruto. This is where Mei is a shock and amazed with a kid fighting against five, uh, well, not five, 25 ninjas, about 20 of them being Kenny's and about five of them being, like, Junins. Of course, the Jonin that was fighting against Zabza, Zabza easily fucking mess. Well, easily just cut his head off. So, yeah. This is where Ayo, Chojiro, Hawking and Hawk were amazed with Naruto. So, Mei says, what is that boy? Zabasa says, that boy is a Jinchuriki from the Nine Tails. And Mei says, why is he here? Uh, he decided to come along with us when uh, we had to fight against his team. And his Jonin sensei decided to leave him at the thing because uh, the kid kind of used a lot of power. And this was Mei says, oh my days. It's opposite. You're not supposed to take another church from another village. He decides to came with us. It's not taking if he's willing to came with us. <sighs> fine. Fine, 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 fine. Fine. So, May decides to bring in Hakin, Haku, Zabuza, and even Naruto into, well, the camp. And, well, Zabuza is talking to uh, May and all that about the money and all that. And, of course, May is so happy because now they can actually get what's called... Well, kind of get enough money to tr well get the uh, the revolution army and all that, to get training and all that. Well, to get proper training so they can actually finally try to win the war and all that. And of course, this is where Hawking and Hawk and well Hawking and Naruto are right now just talking to each other. And Hawking was like, "Well, what was that? That was so cool." Blah blah blah. She's like kind of just freaking out and all that. And Naruto says, "Uh, I have no clue that much." I really don't know what that was exactly. My, well, my tenant, the Nine Tails, is kind of telling me that that was another ability of, well, my crystal release. And of course, this is where Hawking is so amazed. She, ha she has like stars in her eyes and she's just like looking at Naruto. Now, I should mention what Hawking looks like because I never mentioned this. Hawking has white hair. Blue, like, blue kind of snowy eyes, so. Actually. So her eyes are kind of like, kind of a turquoise kind of color, like, sort of like uh, blue and all that, and kind of has a little bit crystallized, because that's just that she kind of got more of a heritage to the eye style. So, yeah. Now, of course, she's just amazed and all that, and of course, since I did mention that she does have sort of white hair, kind of long and all that, and longer than that of, well, than Haku's and all that. So, yeah. Haku does have black, uh, black hair. And I think I forgot what color for eye. Uh, not color for eyes. But Haku is still the same color for eyes. And, of course, long hair, blah, blah, blah. Still looks like a freaking girl. But at the same time, it's a guy. And Jojo did not notice this. And tries to ask out Haku, of course, when he got the uh, surprise. Um, Jojo was kind of gargling out of his mouth. Kind of just got... Uh, trapped. This is where Ao is dying. This is where Mei says, "What did you do to Chojiro? Ao, Ao is like, uh, uh, um, 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 nothing, nothing. It was that, it was that the uh, boy." And of course, Mei says, first of all, you ain't gonna blame my uh family for anything." And of course, Officer says, "Fam, wait, 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 wait. What are you thinking, A uh, Mei?" 
And Mei says, nothing, Zabuza. And she does have a creepy smile, and both Ao and Zabuza kind of just went away and kind of went to a little scary. They kind of just got scared really bad, and they just walk away slowly. And, of course, Hawking and uh, Naruto are just talking and all that. And, of course, Uber Mei thinks it's so adorable to see two, like, 12-year-olds just talking and all that. And, of course... It's even more adorable when Naruto is using his, like, crystal release and all that. And, of course, Hawking is also using her ice release. And, of course, this is where Ao kind of says, So, wait, what does that boy has? Zabasa says, that boy has about crystal release. And Ao says, I never heard about it. Neither do I. And I don't even believe it's actually a thing, but this guy can just do it. Or boy can just do it. And, of course, Ao says, what do you think if your, I mean, um, how should I say, if Hawking and Naruto decide to have a, well, when they get older, do you think they're going to get married and uh, have a kid who's actually going to be able to use Hydroton and also Crystal Release, or is that just something? Now, Zabuza so kind of got a tick mark and was about to kill Ao, and of course, uh, May heard us and says, can you two shut up? And of course... Uh, Sabasa kind of just got scared and also Ao again and just started walking further away from Mei. Now Mei is just giggling and laughing because if that actually happens both Hawking and Naruto because they are both the same age and also they are basically having powerful uh, gen guys. Now I don't remember what ranking Crystal release was at. I know that Woodside was first as being the strongest gen guy. Um, Ice Style was the second strongest. Crystal Release, I don't remember which rank that was. I think it was, it was, got that, I forgot. Well, I didn't find anything, but I'm going to just say that Crystal Release is, well, I did read on that Crystal Release is kind of stronger than Wood Style. Because Wood, Water, and Earth is basically useless to Crystal Release. But, <clears throat> what's it called? Also, I read that it was actually Earth and Wind, so I was somewhat correct. Yeah. I'm gonna, but yeah. So, <clears throat> so Naruto is just kind of, just kind of ranking, not ranking, blah, blah, blah. He's kind of just talking to Hawking and all that. So, yeah. Now, this is where we're gonna do about a two week time skip. So, of course, May did use the money, uh, the, the money to train her, like, army and all that. So her army is containing of about 5,000 now after getting enough of the money and training her army since it was about sort of 2,000, well, let me say that again, 2,500 ninjas. Now it's about well, 5,000, but Yagere still has a lot. But Naruto and Hawking have actually been training together and has actually became great partners in using both of their Kenka Kenkai's for well, I mean, They've been training for two weeks, so I mean, they're good at using, well, Chris Oli's and uh, Ice Tile. No, I mean, Hawking uses Ice Tile and Naruto uses Chris Oli's, but they're actually good, and they cannot be broken up if they are both working together. Their teamwork is kind of very, very powerful. More, more of a stronger bond than that Team 7. So, yeah. Since Naruto already has his sort of crystal eyes and his crystal entity, and also has learned about other crystal release styles, I mean, crystals, uh, different different crystals and all that, since May decides to figure out if Naruto can control other crystals instead of just Amethyst, which she bought one, well, I mean, not, kind of managed to get her hands on a medium colorless diamond, a, well, di black diamond, also found some other crystals like uh what's it called embro uh quartz so of course <clears throat> with that happening naruto uh well also what's called different other colors of crystals so let me go through here so she also did manage to get ruby rose kind of like a rose color uh sapphire lap uh, lapis um, jade and other things and also jet so jet is this one down here and also turquoise but yeah naruto well this jet ap or something whatever it's called 
And Naruto can will control almost all of them. Like, really, he can control every single kind of crystal. So yeah, and even Saw. She wanted to actually see if Naruto can control Saw, which yes. Also, Naruto figured out that he can actually use what's called the ice style in controlling weight making weapons. So when Hawking was kind of like sparring with Naruto. And Hawking does manage to know how to create ice weapons from ice. Well, from our ice release. And start fighting against Naruto. And of course, one of these swords was thrown at Naruto. And Naruto managed to cut it. And instead of like letting go of it, he's actually pretty good at using it against Hawking. And Hawking was shocked. Now, ice is somewhat of a crystal... Of a crystal mineral. So, yeah. So, Naruto can definitely use ice style. Well, yeah, somewhat. So, of course, Hawking was just shocked that Naruto can use Ice Style, but it's not. His Ice Style is not as strong as, well, Hawking. So, yeah. Besides, it's just pure Ice and not with Chakra. So, yeah. But, of course, with other crystals, he's pretty good at using it. And they are strong. Because those are the dense, well, well what's called, the density of the different crystals. He didn't change the dents of the crystals they just stay the same but just manipulate into weapons with the ice he can definitely manipulate it but of course it isn't going to be strong as his crystal weapons because yeah ice is not that strong and then again if you get a kind of very dense ice it's pretty strong but yeah not the point but Naruto and Hawking has became a duo of, well, mass destruction. So when the battle against Shogate came and all that, both Naruto and Hawking have actually kind of were, not in the front lines, but mostly in the assassin kind of area. Since both Naruto and Hawking have sort of been training to be kind of assassins. So Naruto kind of looks like basically from the Assassin Creed. He has sort of a white... Uh, sort of hood and all that and of course Hawking does have her mask and all that so yeah and Naruto does have a lot of crystals on his pouches so he can well manipulate them and like throw them at people and kill them so yeah he doesn't care about killing because he has well trained also in killing people Hawking has also been training killing people but of course they still are humans and they don't actually enjoy it so when they are kind of going into trying to assassin Yagere, which, yeah, well, either they're not really going to go assassin Yagere, but Mei is trying to fight against Yagere, but really what Naruto and Hawking are supposed to do with also Haku are to assassinate, like, other higher-ups that are working with Yagere. So, yeah. So, when they are going to go get the other higher-ups besides uh, Yagere, so it is the what's called first uh dime first a uh, higher up is basically the daimyo uh for the mist village. Naruto went to go assassin him, so yeah. Uh Naruto gets in, kills almost not really kills almost all of them. But saw that Yagre well not Yagre, uh the Daimyo, the what's called Miss Daimyo is basically more like he is a pig. He's a pig. He makes uh, what's called Gato look like a boy scout. Because this man kind of is kind of like Gato, but more um, well, disgusting to Naruto. So, yeah. So, Naruto legit can well, easily kill the man because he doesn't care. And, of course, he assassinated this man. He, like, he was on, like, the ceiling. And, of course, when the nut was caught, because it was turning dark. Naruto jumped down, softly kind of landed, pulled out two hidden blades from his, like, what's called hands. Because, yeah, Naruto Manchu kind of made a construction where his, what's called, his hands, if he kind of moves, he does, like, some kind of moving hands, ignore whatever. His two hidden blades were peered, and he will not kill anyone. So, yeah, just like Assassin's Creed. Now, Naruto goes up to the man, and the man was about to, Scream when he noticed Naruto. Naruto put his like hand over. Well, yeah, he put his hand over his mouth and all, and sliced the man's neck off, spilling it out blood. And of course, Naruto left. So yeah, next is Hawking and Haku killing some higher ups that were kind of, sort of like a council members in like what's called the uh, 
fire village, but not really. They are just members that actually follow uh, Yagere and all that and killing the Kaka Kang guys. And now, of course, when they manage to kill almost all of them, one of them, a high joning, a high ranking joning, actually fought against Hakin and Haku. Because when they were finished killing a bunch of like the followers, the higher ranking, not high ranking, yeah, the higher ranking officers that were like sort of kind of civilians most of the time and also some ninjas. But yeah, a high ranking Jonin appear and tries to kill them. That's where Naruto well, appears right in front of Hawkin when she was about to get stabbed. And Naruto says, you ain't gonna touch her, not die, bastard. Of course, he like put his hand out and made the hidden blade come out and just stab the guy. Well, not stab the guy. Swipe his hand towards the guy and cutting the guy's neck off. So, of course, Hawkin says, thank you, Naruto-kun. And Naruto says, you're welcome. <laughs> So, of course, they go in to assassin more people. Now, the fight against what's called Yagare and Mei, that will happen. But instead of Mei kind of fighting against Yagare by herself, Zabuza is helping her. So, of course, when they're fighting against the three tails, Jinchuriki named Yagare, the army of, well, Mei is right now kind of overpowering, well, now overpowering the uh, forces of, well, the Miss Village and all that. The ones that are actually wanted to help what's called Yagre and all that. But Naruto, he may, what's called, since he can still do multi shadow clone jutsu, he kind of, after killing a bunch of higher ups in the uh, tower of the Mitsukage, they kind of saw the war happening and Naruto says, Multi shadow clone jutsu! And of course, so many of Naruto's clones appear. Now, of course, he did use the Nine Toes power, so of course, it was like 2% of the uh, Nine Toes. Not 2%, but 2 tails percent of the 9 tails. And of course, there was a lot of clones rushing to the war. Well, the fight against what's called uh, Yagere and, well, the revolution. So, Naruto's clones started fighting against the, uh, what's called uh, Yagere's army. Killing a bunch of, like, Chonis and Chonis and Genis. Some of them crippling because they didn't ex expect a surprise attack by just a bunch of, like, white hooded figure behind because Naruto's clones are kind of covered up with the white cloak and all that because that's what Naruto has. Now Naruto did send a message before the war happened towards what's called Haru's and about that uh, he's staying in Miss Village for a while but he will come back after a month and all that and Haru's and was okay because the what's called the tuning exam is going to start in two months. But of course, Naruto's right now fighting against a bunch of like ninjas. And of course, Naruto is overpowering the forces of Yagere. Because, yeah. Now, Naruto is kind of fighting against some Ambus. Hakin and Haku are doing the same. Hakin managed to get stabbed by one of the Ambus, but Naruto uses the entity of, well, what's called Shining Crystal to heal what's called um, Hakin. And of course, Naruto was pissed when they did stab her. Of course, Naruto, his eyes kind of went into the Crystal Dojutsu. Well, I mean, there already was, but it evolved into more. So, it evolves into this. You probably can't see it, but yeah. It basically just makes a bunch of crystals into a, well, upper version of the sort of Dojutsu that Naruto has. Basically, what the Dojutsu, I'm calling it, I'm calling it the, uh, Crystallized uh, shouting gun. So yeah. Sorry about that. But yeah. Naruto is kind of just activate his dojo to, to the final level. And of course it's much of a powerful level than the actual normal one. Well the one he activated. During the wave art. But of course this one Naruto uses so many crystals around him. Since all the crystals from his pouch kind of float up, they all turned into Senbons and just started attacking the Yambus. Of course, Naruto can reuse the crystals some uh, Senbons pack and created a shield when multiple Yambus start throwing it. Uh, it's called Senbons and also Kunai. Of course, they could not get through the crystal. Now, the crystal disbands into different types of crystals because, I mean, it was all together into one, a giant crystal domino. And of course, after the, uh, what, the spanning, they all went back to the original crystals and all. 
And of course, Naruto made them back into more Simbons and started attacking these uh, almost pretty easily. Made back into them, and, and yeah, so on and so on. Naruto is super strong in using his crystal release. That's where Hakin started using her ice release. Now, her ice release, she started creating a lot of like ice Simbons to help out Naruto to kill out Ombus and all that. Now, in the fight between uh, what's called Yagere and, of course, uh, Sabza and Mei, they actually managed to kick the hell out of what's called Yagere. Now Yagere says, You bastards, you're not going to get rid of my blood purge. All Kekagenkai users are demons. And, of course, Mei is so pissed, and Zabuza is kind of getting annoyed with Yagere. But, of course, Yagere is noticing his army is dying, and his Ambus are not even here. Now, all the Ambus that were in what's caught with what's come in the tower now, and around the village, are all dead. Because Naruto's kind of army clones kind of easily took out a bunch of them. So, of course, he also did manage to revolution the uh, village, the sort of village that was around him and all, in the Mist Village, to actually fight against Shaggy. Because half of the villagers that were in the Mist Village, they were being poor and all that because of Yagre's sort of reign of terror and all that. But yeah, a bunch of them rises up and fights against Yagre's army. Now, of course, this is where the clone Naruto did make a bunch of, like, crystal weapons and let the, uh, well, village ninjas, not village ninjas, but mostly the villagers fight, well, civilians fight against back, against what's called Yagre's forces. Now, of course, Yagre's forces are now just dying, kind of completing, like, fully fading away. Because the forces of Yagre is only about 7,000. Now, that wasn't that much against the 5,000. But, of course, when Naruto's clones being there, there was about 3,000 clones. And now the village is fighting back. So, of course, a bunch of people are dying in the Yagre forces. So, yeah. This is where Naruto is done, and of course, Naruto, Hakin, and Haku. Well, Haku's somewhat tired. Hakin and Naruto has basically just lost and lost of stamina because they've been training with each other for two weeks and are very strong. Now, of course, Hakin and uh, Naruto decide to run towards to help Mei and Sabza. Mei and Sabza are fighting against Ka. Um, well, Yagere? This is where Yagere gets mad enough and turns into the three toe cloak. Not the full-on three-tails, but just the three-tails cloak. This is where the uh, cloak just, he kind of roars and starts to attack Sabza and Mei. Mei managed to make lava attacks against uh, Yagri. Yagri managed to get burned a little bit and then gets hit by the execution and gets mad and tries to attack them again. And of course, this time they could not react fast enough until Naruto appears. Naruto in his own four-tail cloak. So, he was in his four tail cloak. Because in this one, Kurama, it is the full tail Kurama. And not just half. This is the full tail. I think I mentioned that last time. But yeah, Naruto kicks uh, what's called Yagere's head. And smashes him into a couple of well, trees. Now, of course, Yagere piss and goes into the Ichibi. I think that was the name. Not Ichibi. Was it Ichibi? Yeah, it was the Ichibi. And of course, the Ichibi... Is well, since he pumped a lot of chakra, since Ichibi managed to pump a lot of, of his three tail chakra, he managed to break the Genju that was over him. Now, this is where Yagere, he's now in control. And since he had the Sharingan Dojutsu act, well, I mean, not activate, but was kind of under control, he was like, Wait, what have I done? I've done terrible things. No, this is where uh, Yagere decides to turn back into normal. And says, kill me. And Mei says, what? I've done so many terrible things that I regret life. Besides, Mei, Sama, you will become the next Mizukage since I will be dead. And of course, the word Zabuza doesn't take any chances and actually did cut the scalp. Uh, yeah, I get his head. What well, Yagere say before getting killed, he's saying, I was under a Genjizu. Of a Sharingan. And of course, when Naruto was shocked to hear the Mizukage was under against two of a Sharingan, but basically the Uchiha's. So, Mei was also shocked, but yeah. 
Now we go into a couple of days repair of the Miss Village. But yeah, the Miss Village is being repaired. And of course, uh, May is the new Miss Akaya and she is happy. And she is basically making any Ken Ken Kai Ken Kai Kai uh survivors to well live and piss up uh, peacefully with the others um non users. So yeah. So Naruto and Hawking are so happy with each other and all that. I should also mention that Naruto's hair was just blonde before, but of course when he unlocks this uh crystal release, his hair kinda went into a crystallized yellow. So yeah. Now of course May is seeing that both Naruto and Hawking are just happy and all that. And she's like, oh, they're so adorable. Of course, this is where we go about into, well, another week time skip. And, of course, the repair is done. And, of course, May has officially became the new Mizukage. No one had complaints. A bunch of council members has kind of been rebuilt and all that. Mostly, mostly ninjas were. Mostly May was just, like, making ninja council members, not what's called civilians. So, both Naruto and Hawking are just talking and walking around the Miss, uh, well not Miss Village, the Miss Village, and of course Naruto and Hawking are kind of laughing at each other and kind of just giggling and laughing and all that. And of course, as we're after the fight and all that, because it's now been two weeks after the fight and all that. May is happy for both Hawking and Naruto, but of course, as we're Salvador has paranoia now. Because after the one time AO says what happened they have kids. Basically, Zabuza has basically had an attachment with Hako and Hawking being basically son and daughter. So if Zabuza kinda became the father of them, uh May also kinda sort of has a sort of mother figure towards Hawking and Haku. So yeah. And also somewhat Naruto, but not really. But yeah. Um, she's sort of like that, and of course, uh, May is kind of always flirting with Sabuza and all that. So, yeah. So, yeah. Now, Naruto and Haki are just talking, of course, and Sabuza has a little paranoia. With Naruto actually kind of taking his daughter away, even though he finally has a daughter, he would kind of kill a Naruto. Now, of course, this is where Haki says out blindly one day that... She wants to, well, marry Naruto. Kind of like when they were kind of eating and all that. In the, uh, what's it called? In a separate, well, not separate house, but mostly in the house of Salsa. And, uh, well, mostly this house kind of contains, uh, for the new Seven Swordsmen. And also Hawking Haku, Naruto, and Mei kind of living in this sort of house. It's somewhat of a compound, okay? Now, the compound, there's other compounds around the village of the Miss Village that contains of different users of, well, uh, the different Kegel Kankais. But, yeah. Now, this is where she says it out bluntly when uh, everyone's kind of eating and all that. And this is where it's also kind of almost like choked on a uh, chicken bone. And, of course, Haku almost like bluntly. And, of course, Naruto was like, oh, that's, I mean, I wouldn't mind. Naruto said it like so kind of, um. Uh, how should I say, innocent, and of course May was happy, and of course it was always a sense killer intent at well Naruto, so where May sends her death glare at Zabuza, and Zabuza kind of shivers down and says, "Oh God, no," and of course um, <clears throat> Haku kind of just say, "Um, Hawking, you're a little too young," and Hawking says, "I know when I become sixteen," and of course Haku says, "Oh." Not, can you not become 18 or something? And Hawking says, well, maybe. And of course, this is where uh, Haku also gets a death glare from May. And May says, 16 is good enough. Ignore your brother and your father, uh, Hawking. And of course, uh, Haku and Salvaza are just shivering at the corner because they aren't trying to die by May. <clears throat> And Naruto says, huh, 16. So basically, we're 12 now, so that will make us be in four years in the future. And Haki nodded. So yeah, May is just happy to see like a sort of a dog, uh, blah, 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 
a daughter figure marry someone else. Basically, May is happy. Uh, Salvas is angry, but he can't do anything if May is there. And May would kill Zawaza or Haku, whoever dares to try to touch Hakin or Naruto, and try to break them up. May says, I swear to God, if anyone touches them, I will murder them and send them to the goddamn Gulag. Well, mostly the, what's called, grave. Uh, mostly with the Shinigami. And, of course, when she does give a death clear, basically, what they, what people see at, well, behind May is basically the Shinigami. Of course, Hawking and Naruto does not see the Shinigami because they don't have the death glare at them. So, yeah. Now, it's been, I'm going to say, it's been a couple of weeks. Another two weeks. And, of course, Naruto and, well, Hawking are been, has just been training. Of course, Naruto is thinking to go back to the Leaf Village since he has spent about uh, two months, what, two months and a half. In the Miss Village. And of course. Hawking says. No please. Don't leave me. And of course. May says. Hmm. Oh that reminds me. We do have to have. An, a temporary alliance. With the uh, Leaf Village. And Hawking and Art. Just says. Wait what? And May says. Yeah. After rebuilding the village. We do have to have. A temporary alliance. With someone. So why not the Leaf Village? Besides. You helped us out a lot. Uh, Naruto. Do you mind. Just asking the old man. About it. And of course, Naruto just nodded. And of course, Haki says, can I go with him? And of course, May says, this is adorable, but I'm going to have to split them up. Um, sorry, uh, Haki, but Naruto has to go back to his village and all that. He wasn't ever a part of our village, so he had to go back. And Haki was sad. And May just cries in her, like, insides and just says, I'm sorry. It's the most adorable little, uh, what's it called? Adorable kind of... To come, adorable relationship. But uh, she's like, no, I can't really break them up. I have to. So yeah, now we do about a sort of two day time skip. Naruto is going back to his village, and of course, Naruto does not wear the orange jumpsuit. Naruto wears somewhat of a white cloak, like basically from Assassin's Creed. So yeah, he is running towards the village at full speed, and of course, he still has his headband and all that. But his headband, and this time. He has in his arm because, yeah, he doesn't want to put it on his forehead. So, Naruto gets to the, uh, what to call it, village. And, of course, the uh, gate guard says, halt. And Naruto says, it's me, Naruto. Now, Naruto in this one actually grew about a couple of, what to call inches. Naruto in this one is now 5'1". And, of course, Hawking is about 5, just 5. Now, Naruto is just like, it's me, Naruto. And, of course, the gate guard says, ah, Naruto. Well, you've been gone about two months and a half. How? Where the hell have you been? Naruto says, like, helping the Miss Village? And they're like, ah, uh-huh. wait, that was you, the Aji Elbit? Yeah. <laughs> and of course, the gate guards just say, ah. Uh. Now, these are the chill gate guards for, uh, what's called Naruto went. So, yeah. And they say, huh, are you going to have a report mission towards Saratori Haruzen? Naruto nodded, and of course, they just let him in. And of course, Naruto's running to what's called the Hokage uh, Tower and all that. Now, this is where um, Kakashi, Sasuke, and Sasuke are kind of like enrolling for what's called the Chunin Sense. But of course, this is where Haruzen stops and says, Well, Naruto must be here, but where's Naruto, huh? You say that Naruto was in, ta- in the Wavelands, yet he's gone. And, of course, he did send me a message that he was in the Mist Village, but he hasn't came back. And, of course, this is where Naruto appears at the window and says, Hey, old man. And this is where Haruzen says, Who the hell are you? And, of course, Ambus appear and try to attack Naruto. Naruto, like, dodges some of the Ambus strikes and, like, uses his, it's called, construction that he has under his hands, making two hidden blades appear and blocks two sword strikes from two different Ambus. Kicking both almost away and sending three Sembons, well, Sembon crystals at the last Ambu, knocking them out. So, the two Ambus were, one was actually basically Yu-Gao that was kind of with purple hair and a cat mask. And the other one was with the bear mask. And the last one was basically with a gecko mask. So, yeah. Now, since they're all knocked out, Naruto says, oh man, why are you attacking me? I thought... 
I thought I can call you old man or grandfather figure. And this is where Horus and Wadi his eyes and say, Naruto, can you take off your hood? Naruto says, yeah. And of course, what Horus sees is too much brightness on his hair. And of course, Naruto says, are you okay, old man? Sorry, but my hair is kind of a little bright. It looks like my, my Kekka Kenkai has kind of broke a lot of things around. Well, not broke a lot of things. Involve a lot of things around my body, but yeah. This is where Sasuke says, Naruto. So what happened to you? Naruto says, oh, hey, Sasuke. A lot of things happened to me. I finally learned how to somewhat control my Kekka Kenkai. And then, uh, what's called? Sasuke says, I see. And Naruto says, I thought you would be kind of annoying me for it or something. No, I asked before when we went back to the village. So let me do a, t uh, not a time skip, but a flashback what happened after what's called Team 7 managed to get back. Sasuke asked for what is Naruto's ability. This is where Kakashi reports that it's a Keke Kenkai or something towards uh, what's called Sasuke. And there were in the Hokage office and all. And of course, this is where uh, Sasuke says, uh, Sasuke and Sasuke says, Kekka Kenkai, what is that? S Kakashi says, a Kekka Kenkai is sort of a, a sort of bloodline thing that you cannot really have. Or some people are, are kind of rare to have it. Like the Senchu, basically Hashirama's uh, Kekka Kenkai was sword style. And he had it super rare and no one else had it in the uh, Senchu clan. You can also put the Kekka Kenkai uh, system on, well not Kekka Kenkai system, but mostly Sasuke, your Dojutsu, the Sharingan, does not really count as a Kekka Kenkai because it's mostly a sort of eye thing and will help you in other things in your power self when you activate it, but it doesn't really help you in different Jutsu that much. Mommy, copy juices, yes, but when it comes to Kekka Kenkai, you need the right infinities to might maybe be able to use it but the Kekka Kenkai allows people to have a very special force well I mean what's it called special types of jutsus like with a Naruto jutsu is basically crystal which it's very rare I think so we never heard of crystal release so we can only think about that Naruto as a very rare Kekka Kenkai just like the ice styles, the ones that you fought against, and also wood style. So, with my correction, I'm gonna just say the crystal release is probably third rank in Kekka Kenkai's. Now, with the Dojutsu Sasuke, like yours, you are only in second place to well, be in the strongest Dojutsu. Third place is the Byakugan, and the first will be the legendary Renekon, but we don't even know if that's actually a true thing. Sasuke nodded. So, yeah, Kekka Genkas are mostly uh, people that have the right infinities to use the actual Jutsu, because if they mix it up, they mix Jutsu. But if you manage to have the right infinities, if you were born to have the right infinities, you might be able to use the Kekka Genkai. Like, like say that you have water and earth, you'd be able to use wood cell, but it'd be a weaker version than actually Hashirama's. So, yeah. Um, like say you have water and lightning, you have storm release, uh, but you won't be able to have as much powerful, uh, infinity against the other storm release or users. So yeah, Kakashi explained like that and Sasuke nodded. Sasuke says, I can't learn it because I don't have your infinities. And also I can't learn the special uh, Kekka Kekka you have because it's some kind of bloodline or something. Naruto says, yeah it is. <laughs> I don't know which side of my parents had it. Hmm. But that's not the point. I just came here to just check on you guys. Um, hey old man, I also came here to give you a what's called message. So he gives it to Haruz and Haruz and says, well, it seems that you managed to get us an alliance with the Mist Village, and it looks like they are rebuilt enough to well, have a stabilized uh, training system. Hmm. That's good enough, Naruto. You did good. Now, 
Why were you so gone for so long? Not just after the war, um, I was helping them rebuild. And Haru Sensei's, ah, oh, that's okay. And of course, uh, Haru Sensei's, would you like to go into the tuning exams? Naruto says, um, sure. And Sasuke says, okay, fine, we have three. Now can we go on the tuning exam? You guys gotta wait for, well, three weeks until the tuning exams. And of course, they all nodded, and of course, are leaving. Now, Sasuke is actually gonna be trained by what's called, um, so when they get to a uh, training ground, basically Team 7 training ground, of course, there were uh, Sasuke, Sasuke, and Naruto are all under, or not under, in the training ground. That's where Kakashi appears and says, okay, guys, we're going to learn about infinities now. Now, Sasuke, since you have your fire infinity, or I'm guessing that you have another second infinity. Naruto, you're probably also going to have your infinities. And Sasuke, yeah. So he gives chocolate papers at them. And of course, not, what's it called? Sasuke's infinities. Fire, lightning, and I would say earth. So yeah. Now, Sasuke says I have three infinities. Yeah, no big surprise you have fire, but earth? I think you have lightning. With whatever, you have lightning also. Naruto? Naruto channels chakra and has wind, earth, and water. Basically, Kakashi says wind. That's a rare infinity. Holy shit. Okay. I really didn't expect it. In order to say, crystal releases basically mixture up with earth and wind. And Kakashi's, ah, 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 okay. And I know wood cells mixed with water and earth, so I mean, hmm? And Kakashi says, God, you have way too much overpoweredness. I just don't know anything about wood cells. <laughs> And of course, Sasuke's infinity is just Earth. And of course, Sasuke's sad that she only has one. But Kakashi says, you're probably a good infinity is at what's called. Uh, what's it called? What is it? You're probably other infinity since you have good uh, chakra control, uh, Sasuke. You can have into what's called Genjutsu's or healing medical ninja. And Sasuke, not it. Since she does kind of still want to become a good medical ninja, like Sonata. Since she stopped kind of having a sort of girly crush on what's called Sasuke. But yeah, she's going to stop having a crush because basically she can see that both Sasuke and Naruto are basically just stronger than her. And she needs to get there so she wouldn't be protected again, just like Naruto did. And Naruto does not have a crush on Sasuke no more. Basically... He likes talking a lot more. But yeah. This is where Naruto kind of makes a crystal bird. Like right in front of all of them. And Naruto just writes something and says. Okay crystal bird. You know where to go. So the crystal bird flies away. And Kakashi asks why he made that. And how can he make that. Naruto says with my crystal release I can do a lot of things. <laughs> I'm just sending a message to my friend, <laughs> a friend that, well, we're going to be more when we're older. And Kakashi says, when you're old. Naruto, can you tell me that you made? Yes, Kakashi, and shut up. Bye. He disappears. Naruto disappears, and Kakashi can barely ask him for it. And he's like, ah, fuck. Kushina would murder me if she ever found out, he said in his mind scape. And of course, where Sasuke doesn't get it, but of course leaves also. But Kakashi says, hey Sasuke, since we're going to train for three weeks for you to learn more jutsus. Sasuke nodded. Sasuke, she said, what about me, Sensei? Do you know any ke uh, not ke 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 uh, kenjutsus or medical ninjas or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And Kakashi says, I can probably get you with Kurenai since she is a kenjutsu, uh, well, it's called Mistress. She's basically called the, uh, the, the Genshin's a Mistress. And of course, Sasuke nods. So yeah. Now, I might leave it off here because, yeah, I'm going to keep fucking up words for some reason. But yeah, have a nice potato day. Potato night, potato, say potato, potato, and potato. So yeah, potato. <laughs>